Hello, Cancer, and welcome to Gemini Soul. Guys, this is a Cancer's reading. All right, I am a Gemini Cancer cuss, so on this channel, you will find Gemini and Cancer reading on this channel. Pretty much predominant. I do do some collectives. This reading, guys, may not resonate with all of you. This is for May 5th. What's happening after May 5th, the eclipse? If you had some eclipse in or out of your life, April the 19th. Then we just getting some more guidance that now that means you're on a new journey, that something's in, something's beginning. And we just want to see if we can get this hair out of our face. <laughs> see what uh, the universe has for us, Cancer, moving forward. All right, let's see. What is the challenge for Cancer? If anything resonates, y'all give me a thumbs up. I'm not taking all that, but the challenge is manifesting a love. That perhaps you, there's a loss. Somebody wasn't telling the truth and some, some truth came out, Cancer. I'm not taking that, but I did see the magician. But whatever it is, the universe took you right up out of that. So that may, you may have been manifesting the truth to come in and you got your truth. Yeah, and that may have been on the, April the 19th or doing this process from now. So May 5th, that truth coming up, it's like you was manifesting something. Something you didn't believe in or you didn't feel that somebody was telling you truth in something. And you got the clarity in it. All right. So what is the challenge for this new beginning for cancer starting May 5th? Did some pop? This new challenge for cancer. Up. Uh, this new challenge. The challenge is the four pentacles. Uh, check Gemini's reading or Cusper because one of them had it not in the same. Was it in the same position? Yes, it was. It was in the same position of four pinnacles holding on to something. So the challenge is going to be probably uh, financially uh, taking what you got and uh, making the best of it. And taking what you got and making the best of it. I'm also feeling like. Because Gemini, Cancer, Cuss, or Gemini, they had a situation where somebody wasn't giving an equal give and take. There was breadcrumb in them, so they didn't have much for themselves. Or you was giving too much in the situation. Cancer, you may be giving too much in the situation. That's the, the sitting in your challenge. And so something eclipsed. And you holding on and you ain't giving in and you ain't doing that no more. Because holding on is not giving up nothing no more. And you not giving it up no more. You like, I might been taking care of you, paying your bills, phone, light, gas, bill. And you like, I ain't doing that no more. I ain't doing it. You need to do your own. You need to do your own. Well, yeah. <laughs> you got the, the um, <laughs> oh, you got the justice card. That's balance, right? you like, no, we got to balance this situation out. If you in a committed relationship, it's about to get balanced. Or it was eclipsed out. Or this person now understands you ain't playing no games. And whatever came out, came out. There was a conversation about it. Like, look, if you can't uh, contribute equally, then you're going to have to contribute outside of here. <laughs> That's what I heard. That's what I heard, Cancer. You had to put some doggone body out. They ain't contributing equally. If this is a marriage, this is the universe getting you this information coming in. This information that's coming in is going to balance the situation out. Or if you've had issues, mm, this opportunity is all about balance. This opportunity is justice. It's, it's necessary. This is what should be happening. This is what should be coming in. So May 5th is going to be about justice. You receive your justice in a situation. If there was a situation where it wasn't balanced, you're getting your justice in that. Anything else we got here for May 5th? Queen of Pentacles, Three of Cups, and the Two of Pentacles. Okay, Cancer, you first of all, know who you are. Nourishing and caring. This is who you is. No matter how this situation come out, you're going to land on your feet. The three of cups, you're going to have a little more time on your hand to have a good time. All right. Maybe you've been holding your money so tight. You ain't really been going out, enjoying yourself, buying yourself something, doing something for yourself. And this is not a relationship. This is all about you. 
let go, release the, the bag a little bit. The universe is saying you need to get out and enjoy. Where's your family? Have fun. Get out there. Enjoy yourself. Go do some of the things that you used to do that you are abundant and nourishing. Like you can't take it with you is what I'm hearing. Okay. We got the two of pentacles. You may really be juggling the fact that the universe wants you to uh, loosen up the purse or wallet. <laughs> Purse or wallet, okay? Because I want y'all to think I'm just talking to... It could have been a male's. Maybe you ain't going getting your hair cut like you supposed to. Or are you trying to save a few dollars and the universe is telling you we got that all at hand. Uh, you know, starting at least May 5th. Now, whatever's transforming that was out of your life or eclipse out or eclipse in, I feel now you're going to have enough money to be able to enjoy yourself. Or you've had it and you've seen some change in your life that lets you know you're not living. You need to get in there. No, 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 not like not, not living, but you're not out there enjoying yourself like you could be. Maybe there was a time where you were more seen, enjoying yourself more. Maybe you went to different places. Maybe you traveled more. Uh, maybe, you know, I don't know. I'm not saying go out there and be a rebel and be reckless, but I'm just feeling like the universe is telling you you need to get out. The universe is saying you have what... You know, maybe you just need to get out into nature. You just need to get out and have fun. Like, right? But this, this is being happy with, you could have had some special, something come in too. You could have had like a windfall of money come in that you're real happy about. And there was been times, right? So maybe before the eclipse, you, you was holding on to the purse because you're like, oh, I gotta make sure I pay everything and be logical about this situation. Yeah, I want to have a good time, but... Yeah, my stability is everything in the universe. Something came in for you, eclipsed in or out uh, cancer, where now you, you, you're good. You're going to be good after May the 5th. Maybe it's a new project that you started. Now you're going to get benefits from it. Maybe uh, someone, I don't know, uh, the, way I'm, the way I'm seeing is that there's a gift came in. There's a gift came in, but you're very happy. It could have been something you was waiting on. It could have been you was waiting on your taxes. You could have been waiting on um, something at work. Maybe you got a bonus at work and you're very happy. You know, you could use that at this time, right? But yeah, you was juggling. Uh, for some reason, I feel like trying to balance and not really juggling your finances. You was just balancing. I don't feel you was cheated targeting one way or the other. It was just like... You just felt at this time, this is not the time to be spending uh, recklessly. That you wanted to hold on to what you have and just keep balance. Um, and justice is here. So the universe is like, okay, we balance. And let's get going. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. And you have the six of swords here. So the six of swords is definitely... Uh, getting out of your head and knowing that, you know, you can go and have fun and relax. Like that's going somewhere. Go visit somebody, get out of town, go visit your family, your friends, uh, take a vacation, do something to relax your mind, sit on the beach, you know, do something special for yourself. And I can't help that it's going to help you emotionally because before the eclipse, something kept you kind of tight. Like you had, and I'm just hearing, you may have had dark entities around you. People, this is not for all y'all, but I'm the, the way I'm looking is depicted in this card and then holding on, it was like, you may have think some thought that times was going to get rough or that something was about to give and you would need to hold on. Now, I'm not, y'all know, I'm, I'm not no financial person for you, so you know, you know what you got to do. But from what I'm seeing, the message just coming in, Cancer, you're on to calmer, smoother waters, and you have more than enough to enjoy yourself, yet continue to stay stable. This is what I'm hearing. And if it hasn't happened, it's coming your way. And the thing is, it's coming your way because this is something, because you had the magician card, it was something that you manifest. All right. And now we have the page of cups here. And I can see you now. That's like, okay, I'm just going to buy just a little something. <laughs> like, okay, I'm like one. Okay, you say Gemini. So I'm just going to buy this little thing right here. I'm going to buy this. And then I'm going to see what happens. <laughs> don't do that. Okay, don't do that. But I just see you going into the store. Okay, I'm going to spend some of this. I'm going to spend some of this. And then you just kind of like walk over to the counter. And you're just like, let me get that trifold wallet. <laughs> it's like 
Stop. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay. It's like universe is like trust and believe they got you. Okay. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Let me get that knockoff. You got the, how much is the knockoff? You know, I'm like, <laughs> how much if you just pour it in my hand for 25 cents? Like, like, you know, I'm like, like oh, I'm tripping. Okay, anyway, let's keep going. The universe says, have trust. Have trust, yes. Five and four. So we have the five of cups here. And the reason why, because you may have went through emotional loss. There could have been a job. There could have been in the past. I feel like you've dealt with a situation that you have may have thought you lost your stability in. And you've built up and got to where you are now. And you just don't play no games with that. Like, I cannot play with my stability, okay? Like, I don't want to ask nobody for nothing. I don't want to lean on nobody for nothing. You know, uh, I don't want to look like I ain't got nothing. You know, all of that. Like, your stability counts is everything to you. Your surroundings, the beautiful things you have around you, maybe even, you know. And uh, some people may say, well, maybe. It's, no, yeah, everybody has a right to indulge in life with what makes them happy and feel good, right? Some other people, there's other things that makes them happy. And if what's important to you is your stability then and you don't play no games with it, you have a right to be that person, right? Nobody has a right to tell you, you know, you shouldn't live in that fancy house or that fancy neighborhood. Why are you in my business? That's number one. And number two, why are you in my business? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I don't know. I just felt that was for somebody, okay? So, and you may need to have a lot of strength in this situation to get out there and enjoy yourself. And you be trying to hold yourself back. Like, go out with your girl's cancer. Go out with the boy's cancer. Go traveling. Go buy yourself something after May 5th. Now, you should have clarity and true clarity in what's going on and if you're able to do this. And you shouldn't be riding up to the salesperson counter talking about, let me get that trifle, a wallet, okay? Uh, I don't know. Buy yourself that, uh, I don't know what you're going to buy yourself. <laughs> No, put it down below. What you gonna buy yourself? You better not be putting down that. I'm gonna ask how much now. <laughs> no, buy yourself something really nice. Maybe a plane ticket. Shoot, go on a vacation. I know that's gonna be pushing you, right? You like, okay, you doing too much now. <laughs> All right, I'm just telling you. The you know, you know when the universe come in and eclipse something out, it's because they want you to get on a different journey. They want you to have a different energy within yourself. And the only way you're gonna listen and, and get to that higher vibe to get what it is that's coming. Is you gotta follow the directions. And the directions is go buy yourself something. Stop holding on to the wallet in the purse too much and do something nice for yourself that makes you feel good. Okay, does that make you feel good walking up to the counter? How about let me get that trifle? No, no, absolutely not. Healing, trust, wish fulfillment, right? This is the star card. This is healing. This is beautiful, okay? I don't know what this just connected to May 5th to me like crazy. Like, there's so much healing is going to be happening. And that the universe is telling you, I'm putting stuff in the background together for you. Look, this is, this is the star card. This is elements coming together, right? Being put together. And it's emotional, right? It's water. Uh, even though this is Aquarius card, Cancer, this is water. Water is you. It's emotions. And, and these ingredients are being put back and forth together to work out in your favor. The universe like, we got your wish, right? You even probably took the, you know, the star card is, is different from just the manifestation card, right? Because here is a wish fulfillment and healing. With the manifestation card of uh the magician they have all the tools this one it took a little longer to get there it took a little longer to heal you went through a little bit more this is that path that would be less traveled right because you had to heal and then you had to i mean and not that with the magician you didn't have to do all of that right because you know magician is gemini not that way but all the time they have the tools they just needed to put them in the right places and use the right tools at the right time it's like playing a game and then 
knowing when you need to bring out different tools to move up on the levels, okay? Here, your wish fulfillment comes with your emotions. And that's stronger and more powerful than anything, Cancer. Uh, so what you're wishing on, and, and just the universe is just saying, be strong in this situation. What it is that you wish and you truly want, be strong in it because it's right there for you, okay? Two of Cups. You definitely could be meeting someone. This is definitely, again, that could mean the balance within you, right? That's that yin and that yang. That's I am, I am. Right, that, right. It's that male cancer, that fe that female cancer, male can whichever divine feminine, divine masculine. But this is balancing out the light and the dark. I also feel like if you're in a, a relationship with someone, like the relationship could be healing. It could definitely be coming to balance in a relationship, and and this change has happened in a relationship after the movement of uh, between now and May 5th or at, completely after May 5th, you're going to see a complete change in a relationship that maybe wasn't balanced or uh, and that needed healing or there's a relationship coming in that's going to be a wish fulfillment and you holding that. See, I just heard it. Here it is, Cancer. Holding that purse, your energies is low. Melody, I keep saying purse, but it could be wallet. All right. Is it y'all just take it how it resonates. Holding on so tight to something and not letting it go, you're not going to vibrate high enough for what he has for you. Wish fulfillment. Somebody that'll come in and you won't never have to hold that purse or wallet so tight again. I'm just saying. But the strength card outside of that is you got to have the strength to take that wish fulfillment on. You got to have the strength. You got to have the strength to see this for exactly what it is. And if you empower that in yourself, you won't. And I don't feel, I always say it's not missed opportunities. What I feel is it just ain't going to happen now. Why wait till later? Because then you got to learn a lesson. It's got to come back around and all of that. If you empower that love and honor and just trust in the universe and go do something, buy something for yourself, do you do that? And I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's a metaphor, y'all. Uh, somebody might bump out there and buy a car. I, if that don't open the energy up, I don't know what will. You know, should you might go put that payment down on the house. If that don't open up the energy for the right one to come in, I don't know. I just, what the, yeah, okay. All right, I'm doing too much. Five of Swords. Now, the five of swords, you conflict it within yourself. You're like, but will I win at this? Will I win at this? It's not a competition. Like, or somebody, or oh, this is this person coming in. They fight for this love. They like, listen, I got the house, the car. I'm not saying it's material. But this is somebody's like, shoot, I'm coming in fighting for this at all costs. Five of swords is definitely up. But five of swords definitely represents somebody with ego, <laughs> you know, and be careful, <laughs> right? But what's coming in after the fifth? Because he's already, you know, the, the divine, your, the higher you spirit guides, they've taken away what no longer serve you. So you won't have to be really leery of this five of swords. It's just somebody that's going to come in that's like, at the end of the day, you get your energy where it needs to be. They're willing to fight and do whatever it takes. Like, shoot, can they at the point, like, if I got to eat, uh, no, I ain't seeing that either. This is an equal give and take. I was going to say, if they sit up here talking about it, if I got to go without so you can have, I'm good. Now, this is a person here that y'all both going to have, but they're willing to fight for you both to have. And I'm feeling like this is an equal give and take because it's justice. You got the star card here. That's what I got for you. Let's see. And this ain't gonna resonate with all of you guys. Y'all just just some May filthy clips reading. If y'all like it, definitely give me a thumbs up. If y'all like the new setup, definitely give me a thumbs up. Oof, I'm trying to see what your spirit got has for you. Spirit, hey, he didn't give me a chance to get it out. It came out fast. But anyway, what we're about to look at right now is the closing animal spirit that the universe needs you to embrace. For May 5th and on, okay, what is it? The first one that caught my eye, you got two. Everybody got one. I can't want to go two. That's fine. Y'all, I don't got my glasses on, so work with me. This is a whole new setup. I'm getting acclimated to it. <laughs> okay. Acclimated. <laughs> it don't matter. 
<laughs> but anyways, look at here. We have uh, the owl. So, you know, the owl represents wisdom, victory, and what is this? Hold on, y'all. Okay. Okay, vision and silence. Okay, I'm doing my own thing. Y'all know an owl usually is wisdom anyway, right? It's something that you see. So this is vision. And it, it, this is having that vision. So the owl is there to give you the... Uh, how can I say this? Cancer. The wisdom to know that, like, we're here. And the information that's coming in, you may see a bird or whatever. I think Gemini, uh, Gemini Cancer Cuss had that. But the owl is somebody around you may be kind of um, witchy. Somebody around you may be uh, very intelligent is what I'm hearing. And have some wise words for you that may can help you. Could be this tarot reading also, but... I feel that the, the owl is it's it's communication. It's that information coming in that you need, that positive information, and yet is it's grounded like an old soul, like it's been here before. So you can trust this information. You can trust that you don't have to just buy a trifle. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you could trust this information. Your next card here is come on. I can't make this up. Butterfly. Man, it's time to it to let go. What do you do? <laughs> Take, go in and duck, <laughs> guys, uh, brush off all them cartwheels and dust that you got on the pinnacles there, male or female. It was butterfly. It's time to bloom and blossom, right? <laughs> and if you've been in a place where, you know, you felt like you was in a cocoon and you was holding yourself back, right? That, just holding on tight to everything, afraid for anything to move or adjust in your life. I feel the universe has made some adjustments and some bigger ones are coming. And the butterflies here is beautiful. This is having the wings to grow. This is having the wings to search within your heart and your soul about what it is you truly want and don't give up on it. This is coming out of that cocoon. This is people seeing you. This is people recognizing you. And they're like, whoa, aren't you beautiful, Cancer? <laughs> okay. Oh, it must be when you ride by in that new car. <laughs> that's what it is, Cancer. When you ride. Oh, they see your new car, Cancer. That's nice. That's nice. That's nice. <laughs> okay. Uh, Cancer, that is all I have for you guys. I hope May Fifth bring you all your dreams and happiness. And you definitely go do something very nice for yourself. Love and light, guys. Bye.